The carnivore diet has gotten a lot of attention nowadays as there are so many benefits to be had from it. People try it. The low-carb diet and you change, you realize, my gosh, how could I have done this for so long without realizing I was kidding myself? Humans have an optimal diet, one optimal diet, the same as literally every species on our entire planet. In a world obsessed with diet trends, the carnivore diet slices through the noise promising simplicity and health benefits by eating exclusively animal products. Tracing roots back to our hunter-gatherer ancestors, this diet has surged in popularity. But does it deliver on its promises, or is it a one-way ticket to nutritional deficiencies? We'll sink our teeth into the meaty facts and strip away the fat from the fiction. Welcome to Healthy Living! The carnivore diet, a regimen as stark as it sounds, is essentially a callback to the primal eating habits of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. This diet, stark in its simplicity, involves consuming solely animal products. Its roots dig deep into a time when humans thrived on what they hunted and gathered, where plant-based fare played a secondary role to meat, due to its availability and nutritional density. The modern resurgence of this ancient dietary practice owes much to figures like Sean Baker, an orthopedic surgeon turned carnivore diet advocate. Baker, alongside others, has not only adopted this diet for personal health, but has also championed it across various platforms bringing it into the limelight. Their advocacy underscores a broader trend toward elimination diets, which pare down eating habits to the most basic elements to pinpoint food sensitivities and adverse reactions. In this context, the carnivore diet is the ultimate elimination diet, removing anything but animal products to possibly identify and eliminate sources of dietary distress. Historical instances abound of populations thriving on predominantly meat-based diets. The Inuit people, with their diet heavy in fish, seal, and whale meat, exemplify a group adapted to thrive on what the land offers, minimal in vegetation, but rich in animal resources. The evolution of dietary trends has seen a pendulum swing from high-carb, plant-based diets towards protein-heavy, meat-centric ones, with the carnivore diet marking an extreme point on this spectrum. The diet's ascent into popularity isn't just a medical or nutritional phenomenon, but a cultural one. Fueled by a mix of scientific curiosity and a quest for dietary simplicity in an increasingly complex world, social media and the plethora of success stories circulating across platforms have played pivotal roles in the diet's spread. And for good reason, there are a multitude of backed benefits. First up, digestion gets a front row seat in this dietary overhaul. By cutting out plant-based fibers known to cause a ruckus in the gut of some folks, especially those battling IBS, the diet proposes a straightforward digestive route. It's like clearing a traffic jam on the digestive highway, making room for smoother rides and less bloating. This isn't to demonize fiber across the board. But for some, this switch is like flipping from a cluttered to a clear digestive channel. Then there's the weight loss narrative, a compelling chapter for many. The carnivore diet is stealthily straightforward, potentially putting you in a calorie deficit without the mental gymnastics of counting calories. High in protein and fats, it fills you up faster and keeps you satisfied longer, nudging those pounds off the scale as a happy side effect. Plus, digesting protein burns more calories, giving you a metabolic edge, albeit subtly. Mental health gets a spotlight too, swerving away from sugar and processed carbs, notorious for their rollercoaster effect on your blood sugar and mood, this diet steadies the ship. The brain loves stability, and by feeding it a consistent energy source, you might just find your mood stabilizing, focus sharpening, and overall mental cloudiness clearing up. It's akin to tuning the brain's engine for optimal performance. Physical energy and performance aren't left behind either. Athletes and weekend warriors alike find a friend in the carnivore diet, with its protein-packed menu fueling muscle repair and growth. 
fats become a reliable energy source, ditching the usual carbon-induced spikes for a steady power supply. It's like switching from erratic sprinting to marathon running energy levels, both in and out of the gym. Inflammation, the body's nemesis, also takes a hit. By axing processed foods and sugars, the diet aims to calm the fires of inflammation, potentially dialing down the risk of chronic diseases hitched to inflammation. Plus, the omega-3 fatty acids in quality animal products throw water on the flames, further cooling down inflammation. Blood sugar regulation is another feather in its cap. The absence of carbs keeps blood sugar levels on an even keel, a boon for those navigating the choppy waters of diabetes. It's about keeping the metabolic ship steady, avoiding the icebergs of insulin spikes and crashes. Lastly, the diet's impact on hormonal balance and skin health is nothing to scoff at. Ditching hormone-disrupting foods for a meat-centric menu might just bring hormonal harmony and clearer skin into your life. It's as if you're feeding your hormones and skin the nutrition they've been silently screaming for. While the carnivore diet plates up a buffet of benefits, it's wise to eyeball the nutritional spread with a critical lens. First off, the menu on a carnivore diet is, by design, low on fiber and certain vitamins and minerals typically found in fruits, veggies, and grains. This isn't about painting fiber as the villain. It's acknowledging its role in gut health and digestion. The absence of fiber might streamline digestion for some, yet it raises questions about long-term gut health and regularity. Vitamins like C and minerals like magnesium, predominantly found in plant foods, require a workaround in a meat-only regime. Then, there's the saturated fats and cholesterol conversation, a hot topic when steak is your staple. Traditional dietary guidelines have waved red flags at high intakes, linking them to heart disease and cholesterol issues. Yet, the carnivore counterargument points to evolving research that challenges these old-school views. It's a nuanced debate, suggesting that the individual response to dietary cholesterol varies. Long-term health issues, including heart disease and certain cancers, have been linked to high red and processed meat consumption in numerous studies. This isn't about casting a shadow over all meat, but highlighting the need for balance and the potential risks of a one-note diet. The sustainability of such a diet, not from an ecological standpoint, but from a nutritional angle, also warrants a pause. The complete sidelining of plant-based nutrients, antioxidants, phytonutrients, fiber, sparks a debate on whether you're missing out on the protective benefits these compounds offer. The quality of meat becomes paramount in this diet. Opting for grass-fed, hormone-free, and antibiotic-free options might mitigate some risks associated with conventional meat, such as exposure to unwanted chemicals and antibiotics that can impact health. Certain health conditions might not play well with a carnivore setup. Individuals with specific metabolic conditions or predispositions to heart disease and certain cancers might find the diet does more harm than good. It's not about fear-mongering, but acknowledging that one diet doesn't fit all. Experts suggest a balanced approach to mitigate risks, such as incorporating organ meats for a broader nutrient spectrum and considering supplementation for vitamins and minerals hard to source from meat alone. The carnivore diet, intriguing in its simplicity and potential benefits, calls for a tailored approach. Tuning into your body's responses and possibly a side of moderation with your steak, Kicking off the carnivore diet is more than just saying goodbye to your greens. It's a full-on commitment to a meat-dominated menu. The starting line involves stocking up on a variety of animal products. Think beyond just muscle meat to organ meats and bone broths to round out your nutritional intake. The avoid list? Pretty much anything that doesn't moo, oink, cluck, or swim. Financially, this diet can hit different. High-quality grass-fed and organic meats carry a heftier price tag than their plant-based counterparts. Socially, the carnivore diet can be a bit of a lone wolf. Dining out or noshing at family gatherings requires foresight and sometimes your own Tupperware of prepped food. 
traveling, that's where creativity kicks in. Scouting out carnivore-friendly options or packing essentials to avoid being caught hungry. Diet adaptation is no walk in the park. Transitioning to a meat-only diet can usher in a host of initial side effects, from fatigue to digestive changes as your body adjusts to its new fuel source. Strategies to ease this transition include staying hydrated, possibly increasing salt intake to counter electrolyte shifts, and giving your body time to adapt. Maintaining nutritional balance demands diligence. Supplements may become necessary allies to fill in gaps, especially for vitamins D and E, and minerals like magnesium and calcium, typically sourced from plant foods. It's clear the carnivore diet isn't just a fad, but a throwback to primal eating with a modern twist. It's a diet that demands respect, not just for the sheer willpower to stick to it, but for the mindful navigation of its benefits and pitfalls. Armed with knowledge, a dash of caution, and a healthy appetite for exploration, anyone curious enough can embark on this dietary adventure.